Um, I made a video for a um, song called Be Quiet and I also made a video for Lion's Den and I also made the first thing together with Jonas um, and I don't know where to put which one because everything is moving around now since this documentary is coming out mm. so I'm, I'm pretty unsure what is happening where and all of that stuff but I just keep everything um, as much as I can prepared now when it's prepared and when to release it it's not in, really in my hands right now so I just leave it to the whole mess and mass and mine but there is combined with others and then it's been delays and um, yeah so it's it's been really fun working with this but it's been very much work and um, it's been yeah it's been great I still have four songs in mind, yeah. I made my three and now I got the fourth one ready with Jonas and maybe another one from me is coming out as a fourth one. I am not sure. Actually, I, I wanted to do one thing with Jonas and he had that already scheduled for someone else and so I thought maybe that would be a better idea for them and whatever I could do with Jonas would be perfect to do. Mm -hmm. So um, he just played me some songs and I was like, that one is good. That one is good. I'd really like to do that one. And then I was like, okay, so I got six songs and I have to choose one. <laughs> but now we got one good. So yeah, it's going to happen. I have to sing it first. But, okay. It's not recorded okay. for me, only for yeah. Jonas. Well, the thing is, I've, I really fell in love with the pattern of moving and a dance that I liked very much. I also wanted it for Open and Alive, um, but I got a really good version of that one already. Not as a video, but um, as a version of, of performing. And um, so I'm happy with that. But um, this will be maybe something different. I'm not dancing, of course, but there is like the dance that I really, really, uh, I really like it. I've been dancing a lot. I've been, uh, that's been my treat to myself and also become like, a, 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 when you're getting older and you're gonna perform on stage, you need to get the heels underneath your feet, moving in the right direction and not injuring yourself. So I need to get in, even though I'm not fit, I need to get the balance right. So dancing is perfect for that. Um, and I've been doing that a lot and um, there I came to know two persons and these two persons are in the, video. in the videos. One for Lions Den and one for Keep Quiet. I did shoot them in Gothenburg on just one day. Since oh. I knew what I wanted, I just did that those hours and I did that those hours and I got what I wanted. And who directed your, did you? Did um, I'm actually sitting with uh, a couple of guys. So it's it's me and some other guys as well. So, uh, we'll But see. it's not the old team that you used to work with? Um, Simon is involved, Simon Petria. And um, uh, I will also ask the dancers themselves what they think should come across because it's the dancing that is it's like prio. So you need to get their vision of what they like for their output. Mm -hmm. So we're a team working around and it's two different teams. I can tell you a lot of things about the documentary. <laughs> uh, it's always scary to get yourself portrayed. Mm. And also when you have uh, to keep in mind that everybody has to be satisfied. So it's... Um, it's a jigsaw puzzle, and uh, I think it's coming out really nice. Uh, as I see it from my point of view right now, it's um, it's a good story about Ulf, it's a good story about Lynn, it's a good story about Jonas, and it's a good story about me, and also the four of us together, and the way that we have kept Ace of Base still being Ace of Base and not changing a lot. I mean, we've been there's been stuff, but I mean, we still the four of us and that is what people are selling now 
and um, I think that is a good thing. I mean, uh, both, both Clara and Julia did a, like a good job with that album, but uh, still, it's maybe the four of us that that people are concentrating on right now, and um, I think it's good. And I want to keep everybody in a really true but also good light. Uh, so not only good but also true. Mm -hmm. So um, and there are actually that between us. So Wolf comes across, I come across. Jonas comes across and Lynn comes across the way she can. It's going to be in English uh, at first. And then somebody's going to subtitle me. And subvoice me in German, probably. Is it going to be you? <laughs> I can come over. No, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, the big box. And it was fun to do something with Jonas, actually. Um, but as I see it, there is no specific uh, celebration coming across. Um, but um, it would be fun to see what... Because uh, um, I follow what the fans do. And that would be good to hear what they want us to do. I mean, we will not be together, but it would be fun to hear like a, 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 a voice from all the guys out there and what, what they would like us to do or what they would like me to do. The thing I can do, I can perform better. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to get all four of us together. Yeah, that won't work. So, uh, But anyway, what should we do? Since we're, we're parting in 2025, I think, as, as record company and group, I think they're trying to do whatever they can to celebrate it. And I appreciate that. It's good for us, it's good for them, so, and it's good for fans if they want to have it. And um, I mean, they always get something new out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I don't know what people think about the box, but I think it's, um, it's amazing. It's, it looks like a piece of collection. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm happy to have one myself, so yeah. Well, both me and Lynn has a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. so could be, but I don't know. And somebody translated it now. <laughs> I just found out. It's like, ah. Um, I was thinking that maybe when I do the release of the documentary, mm -hmm. that would be a good way to promote that I've been writing a book. Uh, so it's in my planning. I think I just print it myself, basically. <laughs> get it out there um, because uh, when you try to do it with publishers and stuff it's a long process mm -hmm. but for me it's just to print it yeah. and then someone can sell it I mean it's, it's just like it's a good story and uh, what I should need is actually something that puts maybe into to date because it's like yeah. pretty old now but it's I mean it's a nice story and um, I really want it out there, but I haven't decided yet exactly when everything's going to happen. And I have so much to do right now, so it's like, oh. But I think we have a good translation as we have it in English, and I start there, and we we'll see what happens. Okay. And now I have a platform for it, so that actually people will buy the book. And uh, so yeah, maybe I just do it myself, because now it's, it's easier to do these things, or maybe I should do it through. The, the record company. Mm -hmm. well, who knows? Whoever can help me. But they don't have any, except for this, this, uh, this box. They don't have any physical things that they sell. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can work a deal with them so they can take care of it. I don't know. It's in the future. But I have the printing stuff. I'm still working on the translation. The poem that I wrote to my father when he died. It's a tricky one. I'm working on it. It's like, well, it comes and goes in my head. Uh, I took a picture when I did the BBC interview in maybe April last year uh, together with uh, Eva Petrian, my sister-in-law made the makeup and then I had Hannah Simonson helping me, me with just taking the pictures and then we just, she put it together and uh, had an idea of how it could come across. The thing is that it looks fantastic. <laughs> 
when you do it on the computer, but when you print it, it looks a bit lame because you don't get the same turquoise, you don't get the same blue, you don't get the same red. And it, um, but I think it, um, it came out um, the way I wanted it, and um, so it was a compromise, um, but that was the best we could do at that time. And um, I really love the song, and I thought that maybe if it isn't the exact colors of the uh, cover, uh, not the shiny turquoises I had, and then it's still, um, it's the song that counts, and I really like it. Um, I enjoy it myself, and um, I think it's because Simon did such a good job with it. I just sang it, and then he made everything else around it, and it was like it's like going into a garden for me, a garden of fun and peace at the same time. And uh, yeah, I hope people enjoy it. Um, and um, then we did uh, the video background. It's all Jacob, actually. Jacob put that one together. So yeah. And the dance, Annika did, uh, one of the girls who was with me on tour, she did the choreography and then we found some clothes that could fit to it, so that's, that's it. And the thing is that I, sometimes you just need it as a visa card, mm -hmm. it's better than a visa card, it's like, we could, nobody has the cars to, to put the CDs in anymore, but it's still like a physical thing. And um, so I printed a lot of those, and I also reprinted my story with the uh, anesthetist. <laughs> so, Jacob, what are you doing? I'm signing everyone. <laughs> and he came down again. What are you doing? I'm still signing everyone. <laughs> and then he come down again. He's like, I'm still signing anyone. But I made a mistake now. <laughs> so, I'm just, so I got like one of, I got a, a couple of them that was like. <laughs> That was, uh, yeah, but it's always a distraction when you're a mother and when you're, oh, like, married to someone and they start speaking and you have, like, 104, like, no. No, I have two 104, no. <laughs> like, we throw this one, show me one. No, but that was fun. And I was thinking that maybe people appreciate getting that special signed one. And I'm signing someone's when I've been out now, so I've been signing them, it's like, oh. <laughs> Because I was really working on that one, and I had to make it small because it's so white. The white part in that is so tiny. So tiny. Yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> pretty funny. Amazing. Did they sell them in order? No. No. So how many did you sign in total? Four hundred. And I started with one hundred and one to sell and the 101st I have for a special occasion. It's 100, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I have something with 400. You have? Yeah. It's impossible. Did I sell that many? <laughs> <laughs> I think you just picked them randomly. I think, yeah. They yeah. just took them, whatever. And why should I sell them in order? I mean, I didn't ask that. Yeah. It's, not, it's not important. It's just that I did five... 500 of them, and I signed each one. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the main thing. If you have one of those, it's signed, and um, it's signed after that number. I don't know why. I just wanted to. If I would have bought a new one or something, I would have had something special about it. <laughs> so I made this number thing. Yeah, but there was a lot of people who didn't have it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. So that that was like also fun because yeah. people been asking for it. And I like the CD myself, it's, it's a, yeah, if you listen to CDs, <laughs> I don't know who does that, but yeah. I, I do it, but I don't know how many more. Well, um, big thank you, I would like to say, big thank you for, for supporting Asa Base and supporting me and supporting yourselves in general um, and I hope to see you soon on tour for just listening in on each other and let me know what you think because I like to hear your voices too when you listen to mine